Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the third edition of the Farnham Nights live streaming show. We really hope you've been enjoying yourself as we've been bringing you the last two broadcasts. Is live streaming here at Farnham Rugby Stadium here live at Farnham, Surrey. So today, Farnham will be hosting the London Warriors. London Warriors come to us um, undefeated they have been cleaning the house on this league through the season and the Farnham Knights have yet to take their uh, home win so we're gonna see just what the Knights can do today hopefully they can try to bring it home I don't know if everybody's seen that complete upset last night between and um, Andy Reyes jr. and Joshua uh, Anthony Joshua but hopefully we can get a nice upset like that today with the Farnham Knights cleaning house against the London Warriors as they start to line up we'll be having the ball toss on shortly I'll be waiting for my B man to be coming up here my analyst to be joining me a little bit shortly so at the time you'll just be hearing that lovely voice of your commentator Maz Hilborn today's game is brought to you by our sponsors at DNA Brickwood Tango Securities Premier's Prospects Recruitment LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Glass, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Productions. Our refs and our umps today will be head ref on the mic, Phil Humes. Our ump, Victor Janvari. Our head linesman, Roger Goodgroves. Our line judge, Jim Briggs. And our back judge today will be Karen Smith. We really hope that you're gonna be enjoying the game today. No matter where you are, where you are, if you just happen to be on vacation, you know how to find us and let's stream it and let's share it and we hope we have a good time. We're gonna be passing a little bit over to the field today as they're about to start, uh, the captains will be going out to the field to start the coin toss. Racket didn't <laughs> from the studio room <laughs> didn't come through. So um, once again, we would like to thank you for watching the live stream show here between the Farnham Knights and the London Warriors, the BAFL National League Premiership South here at Farnham Rugby Club. If you were watching the game last week, it was a very exciting game between the London Blitz and the Farnham Knights. Farnham was putting some great pressure on the London Blitz. Uh, once again, the London Blitz did show and used the, <laughs> their namesakes and uh, used that blitz quite often, putting the pressure on Callum Brown last week. So uh, once again, that was a defeat last week uh, against the... Uh, London Blitz, and that's uh, big head coach Pete Too Tall is taking the field. I can see Coach Oxalt there also, and Tango. As the team captains come out, we have number 66, Outway, 89, God Godfrey, uh, 25, Appleford, and DC, number 57 for the Farnham Knights, uh, the captains representing the game today. As they shake hands with the London Warriors, these two teams are very familiar with each other, a lot of respect from both of these teams. London Warriors dominating the Premiership uh, South this season, uh, the very good team. What a talent team over there with their head coach. They've been working very hard to. Uh, keep this talent there so um, 
I'm sure we're going to have a very exciting game today. And also, I have a very exciting new perch today. Um, normally, I'm in the studio production, but they kicked me out. <laughs> and they put me a little bit above the studio production, give me a little bit bird's eye view, and get me a little bit closer to my favorite two cameramen up there. So uh, let's see on the coin toss. Oh, the Phil Humes, uh, we didn't have his mic on to get the, um, who's going to actually receive and who's going to kick off. We're going to confirm just shortly as we'll start to watch the special teams uh, run out to the field. <laughs> now, we're struggling this week to get the roster from the London Warriors, so um, hopefully if they can bring the roster over here, we can help to represent some of those fine athletes that they're, they have under those numbers today. Well, it's a little windy here in Farnham, Surrey, a little bit gusty, a little bit gusty in the booth here, so hopefully um, we'll be able to hang on tight, not blow away as we bring you the game coverage. Farnham will be kicking the ball off. First possession will be from the London Warriors. London Warriors back to receive. Number seven back to receive and number 13. Kicking off will be number 53, Mr. Quinn for the Farnham Knights. We have Appleford out there, Godfrey. Gilly, Stevie, E-Man. Suchi. Powers, Kid, back on the special teams for the Farnham Knights as they're about to kick the ball off. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get this game started. Let's get ready to take it to the grass. Just waiting for the head ref's whistle. Which will officially start our third edition of the game. The Farnham Knights hosting the London Warriors here in Farnham, Surrey. We'd like to thank our production team, uh, Cheers Mate. They've been doing a great job streaming all uh, three editions. Uh, they, they work hard and tirelessly here. They're here setting up early in the morning and they're leaving late um, after the field is cleared out. Um, they have a lot of equipment. So once again, we would like to thank the production team. Cheers Mate for being here with us on our third edition. We really appreciate it. So if you're just coming to us today, uh, this is our third edition. The Farnham Knights are hosting the London Warriors here at Farnham, Surrey, as we're about to kick the game off, and the whistle is giving us the official start. And there it is, Mr. 53, uh, Mr. Quinn, will be kicking it off for the Knights, and let's take it to the field. This is going to be an exciting game. The ball is up. It's picked up by number 13 of the London Warriors. They're taking it to the right side of the field, looking for some blocking. He's looking for a hole. And he's gonna take that ball to about the 28 yard line, a short game before he's starting to stop there by Gilly, number 23 for the Farnham Knights and number 30, Stevie. First and 10, London Warriors. You can see on that instant replay there, uh, that little takedown. Once again, I like to thank you, production team. I got a sweet little setup here. Here we go. First and 10, London Warriors as the Warriors come out. Their quarterback, number seven, taking the ball out the shotgun. Let's 
zone defense set up for the Farnham Knights. Snap, hands it off to number 32 for the Warriors. Uh, he blasts to the left side, gain of about a couple of yards before he's finally stopped down. That'll be second and long eight for the London Warriors. Yeah. Great take down there by number 92 for the Farnham Knights. That's Michael Peacock. Second long eight. Snap. Play action fake. Looks for his man for the screen on the far right side. Number 41. The pass is incomplete. Pressure was put on by the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. See how that pressure was put on for it. Stop that screen. Let's take another look. As number seven takes that snap there. There's a play action fake. And look, there is choose number 95. He's trying to put the pressure on. He had his man all clear there. That could have been a good reception, but that was just shown up, uh, thrown a little bit too wide. Pass is incomplete. Third, long eight, London Warriors. He's coming out in the pocket. Pass protection. He finds his man, number eight, in the middle of the field. He's dragging a foot race. He's running from Gilly. Gilly finally tracked him down. West going to break a first down for the London Warriors. Let's look at that play. Good pass protection as he sat in the pocket, and he had time to make that completion. And there he is. All the time, great pass protection by the London Warriors. He finds his man right there in the middle of the field. Great hands by number eight as he starts to take it. And after that, it's just a foot race between Gilly and Appleford as he's trying to stop before he gets to the end zone. And he's finally taken down by Gilly and that's going to be a first and ten for the London Warriors as they start to move the chains down into Farnham Knights territory we're getting warmed up here and I'm feeling good quarterback taking the snap out of the shotgun hands it off to number 22 he's looking for a hole on the far left side and he finds one he's bumping tackles and he's breaking tackles and he's still up on his feet before he's finally drugged down out of bounds by the Farnham Knights let's see a little bit of uh, if we can get another action of that play and see just what happened in the backfield there's the first break of the tackle. Then he puts the juke step on, and he breaks another tackle, and before he's finally pushed out of bounds by the Farnham Knights. That's moving the chains down to into Farnham red zone territory. That's first and goal, London Warriors taking the tight snap. Number 22 at the eye back for the Warriors. Play action, he hands it to 22. He finds the hole on the far right side. Good gain of about three yards as he's starting to move the ball a little bit closer down into the end zone. That's gonna be second and goal, London Warriors. Well, look at that hole as he started. They open up the London Warriors, open it up on the right side. It's finally kind of brought down kid on the pat on the tackle assistance by freddie number 27. and um, that should be a second and goal ball marker oh and that's going to be a field goal attempt as the warriors are going to try to get points up on the board immediately for the extra point attempt the snap it's up and it is no good. So the lawyer, the Warriors start their first drive, pounding into Farnham Knight territory real quick. A couple of good receptions there, a couple of good runs, and that is a touchdown. And their scoring update today: Farnham Knights zero, London Warriors six. As we are 13-31 into the first quarter of game play. As always, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Today's game is brought to you to, by DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Productions. We'd also like to thank the BAFRA. And if you are interested in participating in BRAFA to be a British American Football Referees Association, that is www.brafa.org. That's www.brafa.org. Let's take it to the field as the Warriors are about to kick the ball off, giving the Knights the first uh, possession of the game. That's number eight. He's also playing wide receiver. He was a part of that second uh, reception for the London Warriors. Is it going to be kicking the ball off? I kick. Right into the hands of Godfrey. Godfrey's got blocking on the right side, but Godfrey does a uh, cut to the middle, and he's finally brought down by number 51 for the London Warriors. 
the hole got broken up on the right side where they were going to run the ball back, and then that was uh, brought down by number 51 for the London Warriors. Short game for the Farm Knights. Let's take another look at that. There it is as Godfrey tried to make a secondary cut back to the middle of the field. He had nowhere to go. First and 10, that ball is going to be marked on the 15-yard line for the Farnham Knights. Godfrey lined up on the far left side. Callum Brown coming out the shotgun today. I back today is number 27, Freddie. Ball's handed off to Freddie. Freddie's looking for the right side before he's finally clubbed up. Short gain of about a yard. See that offensive line is working on that left side there. And the ball's handed off to Freddie. Freddie does that cut there. He has a few touches, but there's Big 54 comes coming out for the uh, secondary for the London Warriors. That'll be second. 10. Second and long nine. Farnham Knights. Sequala eye back. Brown from the shotgun. Handed off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room on the left side. Sequala's going upfield. Oh! Squallis right finally brought down by number 51 for the uh, London Warriors, but that's going to be a good game. Let's take another look at that play. Sequala coming fine into action. As that ball is handed off there, Callum. And as we can see, he starts to work on that outside hole and puts on the Aaron Sequala speed. And once he starts getting that uh, sideline into view, he starts moving the ball down. That's going to be third long four, Farnham Knights. Wilcox on the far right side. Godfrey far left. Round up the shotgun. Play action fakes the quality. He's looking up the field to Jameson, and the ball is intercepted and dropped by number 29 of the London Warriors. Intended for Jameson, upfield. Good pass protection blocking for Callum Brown. Let's take another look at that as he comes out from the shotgun. And here's that play action fake there, boom. Play action fake, the toss there to Sequala. Has his man right there open, and here comes it. Oh, the, the defensive back, number 29, Great speed, great pass, break, uh, break, break up, blah, blah, blah. And that's going to be a fourth down situation here for the Farnham Knights. Farnham Knights are going to be uh, going for it on the fourth down. Callum Brown out the shotgun. We get the, uh, whoa, looks like we got a flag on the play. Phil Humes, our head ref on the field. Let's get the official ruling from Phil. False start. Everybody except the center. Five yard penalty. Repeat fourth down. Well, that's going to be a false start against the Farnham Knights. Well. That's going to change the complete uh, strategy. Looks like the special teams will be coming out up. and they will be punting the ball. Conan Quinn, 53, to kick uh, to punt the ball for the Farnham Knights. Nice high snap. He gets the ball off. That's going right into the hands of number 11, the receiver for the London Warriors. As he's looking for some room on the left side, and he's got it to the 50, the 40, the 30, the 35. He's breaking the tackle as he tiptoes over to the 20 yard line of the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that run. What a return there by the London Warriors. Well, you can see the ball at. Nice, good, high punt there by my, my, Mr. Quinn. Right into the receiver's hands. Looked like a good play as he runs away from Appleford. And there he is as he turns on the speed down there on the 40. And that young man is fast. I remember him from uh, previous seasons. He is no joke pokey as he takes it down into uh, about the 22-yard uh, line for the Farnham Knights. That's going to be first and 10, London Warriors. Quarterback takes the ball out the shotgun. He's looking for his man on the left side. He finds his man, number 81, on the far left side. Good game. That's going to be a first down for the London Warriors as they move the chains. Great pass uh, protection there for the uh, quarterback. Great execution by number seven. Finds his man, clear and open. Great play. Great save there by Powers, number 22. 
First and goal, London Warriors. There it is, handed off to 22. He's looking for the end zone as he fights through. The Warriors are coming out here to play and they're showing why they have been dominating all season long. Quick to, to score, quick to get the points on the board and quick to dominate the game at the onset. That's gonna be second and goal. Power eye, handed off to 22. He's fighting into the end zone, and that is going to be a touchdown. Let's look again at the hole that was opened up for number 22 for the London Warriors. Quarterback takes a tight snap here off the line, and look at that O-line work. Hands off the ball. There's his little hole. He doesn't need much. His game's all about inches. He was just about, about two yards away, and that is another six points there for the London Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the extra point attempt by number eight for the London Warriors. There's the kick, it's up. And that one is good for the London Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update early in the game here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights at zero, London Warriors 13 as they show us how they do their thing, do their thing. Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors for bringing you to show today. Today's game is sponsored by DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Glass, and Cheers Mate Productions. Well, it's always good to see a nice turnout here by the fans here in Farnham. They have a loyal following. I see a lot of familiar faces here, and they really have a good time. So we like to also see you here in Monk Lane, Farnham, Surrey. Clock starts as the London Warriors about to kick the ball off. Back to receive. Godfrey. Ball hits the uh, Cox. Will Cox, number 15. Short gain as he tiptoes up through the middle. That's going to put the ball about the 18-yard uh, line. Let's gonna take another look at the special teams pressure that the Warriors are putting on the Farnham Knights. They get down there real quick, make sure that that return receiver has nowhere to go, and that puts that ball in a good neutral position. Ball's going to be marked about the 19-yard line. First and 10, Farnham Knights. Sequala eye back. Godfrey far left. Cameron Wilcox on the far right. Out the shotgun. Play action fake. He's going to keep it. He's looking for some blocking. He has no blocking, and he is snuffed up by the London Warriors. That play was broken up as the London Warriors contained. They didn't go for the play action fake. Let's take another look at that. There's the play action fake there to Sequala. Sequala goes down for some downstream blocking. Hits number 53, but there's 17. He slides by Godfrey, and that breaks up the play. And then we have the rest of the secondary for the London Warriors. They're going to make that uh, loss of yardage. That's going to be second down, 14, Farnham Knights. Brown. Brown hands to Sequala. Sequala does a nice juke in. Oh! Sequala is trying to scramble back up to the line of scrimmage for he's finally taken down by number 72 for the London Warriors. We'll take another look at that. Sequala looking for that far left side, and he does the, the cut. He sees 17, he tries to cut back in. Uh, that tight end. That's going to be a third down situation for the Farnham Knights. Third, long 13, Farnham Knights.
Alan Brown out the shotgun. Sequala in the eye back. We have a, to a lateral toss there to Sequala. Sequala took some room on the left side. He tries to fight it. He tries to power through for another scramble, some extra yards. Uh, no gain. That's going to be a fourth down. Here comes the special teams again for the Farnham Knights. They will be punting the ball. Well, as you can see, the defense for the London Warriors is completely all over the Farnham Knights today. They are containing the outside. They are containing the middle. They are keeping the run game shut down. They are giving the Knights a challenge here in the first quarter of play. Number 53 count. Conan Quinn to, be, to punt the ball for the Farnham Knights. Number 11 back to receive for the London Warriors. We get a shallow punt there. It takes a couple of bounces there about midfield. Farnham will finally let E-Man down it. E-Man downs it for the Farnham Knights. Uh, the London Warriors will be taking the ball about on their own 41-yard uh, line. Well, as we are still waiting for my analyst, We would like to try to feed some of the questions today from some of our live streamers. Once again, www.bafra.org. If you are interested in being one of these refs and you would like to participate. First and 10, a London Warriors ball marked about the 42 yard line. There's a snap, he's looking for his man on the far left side. He finds him, nice screen and he's breaking tackles number 13 and that's gonna be a first down for the London Warriors. Let's take another look at that screen play. There are three wide set up over there. He's looking for him as his man, and there it is, number 13. Nice screen play, and he goes for uh, a couple of yards and scrambles for more, and that is going to be a first down before Tom Tame finally runs him out, number 38 for the Farnham Knights. London Warriors, second and long two. Quarterback out the shotgun, 22 in the eye back. Split right two on the right. Hands it off to 22. He finds a left uh, hole on the left side, and he's still on his feet. He has scrambled more for the first down. He's still on his feet as he scrambles for more yardage. What a play by the London Warriors. Let's take another look at how he found that hole and how he found the additional yardage. Look at him breaking the tackles there from Tom Tame and still on his feet, driving, knees pumped high, head and balance is forward as he scrambles for another additional 10 yards. That's gonna move the chains down as the London Warriors are once again in Farnham Knights red zone territory. Quarterback number seven, taking the ball out the shotgun. Receivers split wide onto the right. Strong right, and it's a bad snap. Oh, it goes out of the quarterback's hands. He scrambles to race to finally cover it, and that's gonna be a negative yardage there for the London Warriors. Let's take another look at that play, and the miss snap there. Whoa, right through the side of his hands, and then it's a foot race to the ball between the quarterback and Appleford. He finally covers it. That's gonna be a second and very, very long for the London Warriors. They line up strong right once more. 22 in the eye back. Seven is on the shotgun position. Play action fake. He's looking for a screen pass to his fullback, big 41. And that's gonna be an incomplete pass. Let's take another look at that play there. Good pass protection by the London Warriors as he takes the snap. There's a play action fake to number 22, and look at number 41. They played this play uh, once before, and once again, the quarterback's just overthrowing. That man's all there. He's clear, no pressure, just waiting for the ball. So that's gonna be a third down, third and very long for the London Warriors. There's Farnham's rubber boy. Quarterbacks sits in the pocket, is looking for his man. Pass is incomplete. Emmett Powers, great pass protection. Let's take another look at that. Emmett comes from across the right side of it, breaks that pass up. Let's take a look. Quarterback sits in the pocket, got good pass protection. Here comes two, number 95, putting the pressure on. He releases, intended for number 13, and great pass protection there. Emmett Powers, number 22 for the Farnham Knights. That's gonna bring the special teams out for the London Warriors as they will 
concede and punt the ball away. That's the first stoppage uh, for the Farnham Knights, for the London Warriors, and they stop the drive. Looks like the defense is getting wound up and wound tight for the Farnham Knights. I was listening uh, to the pep top a few seconds ago uh, between the plays, and they were getting a pep top from the defensive coordinator there, Mr. Ox. So I think he was motivating the team and getting them fired up. So they're looking a little bit better out there. Let's take it back to the field. Oh, we got a timeout. And here comes some more of that high-quality H2O there onto the field for the Farnham Knights. We'll take this time to once again acknowledge our timeout called today. by the Warriors at 3.03 remaining in the quarter. That is their first timeout of the half. Third timeout called there by the Warriors. That was Phil Humes, head uh, up on the field, head ref. That's going to be fourth down. Those special teams back to receive today is Godfrey and Andy Gillard for the Farnham Knights. And once again, we don't have the roster for the London Warriors. Um, we would love to give credit to these fine gentlemen out there. If you know some of them, I'm going to feed that information up to our live stream as we still try to get that roster. Low snap. Oh, terrible snap for the punter. The pressure is on. He still gets the ball out. We hear poison, oh, and they turn a very bad play into a very successful play by the special teams. Let's take a look at that. They go from rags to riches, and it turns out to be successful. Um, here's that snap there. There we can see it, it is slow, and, and the uh, punter, he scrambles to finally get it away, and what? <laughs> Yeah, he must play rugby also. What a great punt. He gets the ball out, and the special teams meet the ball about on the two-yard line of the Farnham Knights, keeping them deep in their own territory. Um, I don't know if we want to call that luck. The way of the ball. But that'll be a positive result. I'm sure the London Warriors will be happy with that, and they're not going to complain. That's going to be first to ten. Ball's on the three-yard line for the Farnham Knights. Here come the blitz. We got a toss off there to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room before he gets a touchback. And that is going to be a touchback. Oh, MG, look at Sequala's trying to fight to get back to the line of scrimmage. Big 53 is not having none of it. He wraps him up, and that is definitely going to be a terrible upset for the Farnham Knights. What a turnover and what a change of events for the London Warriors from a punt concession to a touchback. I was going to put another two points on the board, and if you're familiar with the rules, we're playing the NCAA college rules here at the BAFANL in Europe. Um, we will be uh, kicking the ball off. Farm Knights will be kicking that ball off on their own 20-yard line. Take the view back to the field. Conan Quinn, number 53, will be kicking it off. And back to receive for the London Warriors is number 7 and number 13. Both of them speed wheels, ready to, to return the ball for the London Warriors. We take it to the field. Kick takes a bounce in the hands of number seven for the Warriors. He's looking for the right side, and he's breaking a tackle. He's got some downstream blocking. He's breaking another tackle before he's running run out by Godfrey. Nowhere to go on that one. He's finally ran out of bounds. Let's take another look at that play. He had all the blocking on the far right side before he was finally ran out of bounds. Good return there by number seven for the Warriors. Let's take another look. Shallow kick there by uh, number 53, Quinn. Goes to the hands of number seven, and watch him turn on the speed. He looks, and he takes that juke to the right side. He's got the blocking downfield, and look at number 13. Clean blocking, and he's finally ran out of bounds. I, I couldn't have written a better play than that. Great execution there by the London Warriors. That's going to be first and 10, London Warriors midfield position. What a treat we are seeing today. I don't know, I'm getting wild up there. I'm motivating the defense. Quarterback number seven taking the ball out the shotgun. He hands it off to 22, and he's got a hole on the far right side off the tackle, and he's still on his feet. Look at him run before he's finally brought down. That is going to be good for the first down. They will bring the chains. Let's take another look at that hole off the number 61, the tackle. They pull, and look at him just come right on through. He does a foot race with Stevie there before Tom Tane wraps him up, and he's breaking more tackles. What a powerful runner by number 22 for the London Warriors. 
That's going to be first and ten as the London Warriors uh, once again encroach into Farnham's red zone. Play action fake to 22. He's looking for his man downfield. He's got him all day long. It's going to be a walk in all alone. He has got it for a touchdown number 13 for the London Warriors. Look at this. Pass protection. His man is all there. There is not a blue jersey in sight. Another six points put on the board. Number 13 for the London Warriors. And the extra point attempt will be made by number eight for the London Warriors. Holding is number 15 for the Warriors. Snap. Ball is up. And it is good, ladies and gentlemen. With 2.02 in the first quarter of play, your scoring update today. Farnham Knights, zero. London Warriors, 22. Well, remember, if you want to get involved, please uh, see us, hashtag BAFA. So, hashtag get involved, BAFA. We want to hear from you, please. We just got another stream. How, how I'm, I'm also a female and I am interested in playing in the BAFA. Yes, you can. A female, male. A matter of fact, our cameraman, if you can look down to the far right, you will see Miss Laura Ducky. Laura Ducky's one of our premier players here for the offensive line and offensive line coach. So she's a good example of what you can also do. Doesn't matter whether it's your sex. Come on, get padded up and show it to the band. High kick here by the London Warriors. Going to go right off into Godfrey. Godfrey's going to take that ball about at the one-yard line. Godfrey's looking for some room on the right side. And the special teams for the London Warriors. I uh, shuts them down. Short gain for Godfrey. He ran getting up slow off the field. Uh, let's take another look at the special teams for the London Warriors. This team, once again, has been dominating the league, and we can see how and why. Great kick, lands in the hands of Godfrey. Good blocking, but look at the pressure and the speed of the London Warriors. They get down there before Godfrey has any room to analyze his field position himself. That's going to be first and 10 for the Farnham Knights. They'll be taking that ball on their own 11-yard line. And we have E-man, number 90, injured man on the field. We'll be taking that time to bring you a little bit more information from our sponsors. We'd like to thank our sponsors always. DNA Brickwork, thank you. Tango Securities, thank you. Premier Prospects Recruitment, we thanking you. LT Sports, thanking you always. True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, thank you. And our friends here bringing you the live stream. Cheers, mate, productions. And E-man is up. We can hear the crowd giving him a big round of applause. We never like to see any of these players injured. You know, through the last couple of home games, we have had no major injuries. I would say knock on wood, and there's no wood here in the studio for me to knock on. I am knocking on my head. My wife will say that's about wood as you're going to get. <laughs> so here we are, Farnham Nice, ready to take the ball. Uh, we got Callum Brown, once again, be taking out the shotgun. Sequala, number 42, out the I-back. Godfrey on the far left side. Wilcox on the far right side. We got the Farnham No O-line all primed and ready, and there's the snap. Play action. Brown, all the time in the world, looking for Jameson, number 87. Pass is incomplete on the right side. Good pass protection there by the London, I mean by the Farnham offense. Got Murphy Powers, uh, Bowers Murphy, number 77 there on the London O. James Ingram, number 50 on the London O, 66 outweight on the London O. DC, number 57. Second. Second and 10. Brown out the shotgun. Brown flies into the pocket. Brown's got some pass protection. Brown's getting brushed out the pocket. Brown's looking for his man on the outside, intended for Jameson. He's finally rushed. The ball's going to be incomplete. Let's look at that pass protection there by the Farnham Knights before Brown, I mean, before Callum finally had to run out of it to the right side due to the pressure. A great snapping this week by the Farnham Knights. And there's that pass protection he holds in the pocket before he's finally ran out. 
Intended there for Jameson. That ball is going to be incomplete. Third, 10, Barnum Knights. And we have a flag, flag on the play. Phil Humes, our head ref, will let him tell us the ruling on the field today. Offense, number 77, five yard penalty. Repeat third down. Well, that's against Bowers Murphy. He's not gonna be too happy about that. That's gonna be uh, five yards counted back. That's gonna be third and 15. Farnham Nice, that pushes them back uh, in their own territory. Knights coming out the shotgun. Lateral toss to Sequala in and out the hands. He picks the ball up. Fights to get the ball back to the line on the scrimmage. Well, let's take another look at that play. Oh, a nice lateral uh, toss there to Sequala. Bounces off his hands, hits the ground, comes back into his hands. And there he is trying to scramble to make the play up, trying to fight to get back to the line of scrimmage before he's finally uh, scrambled up by the London Warriors, number 72. Fourth down situation for the Farnham Knights. The special teams is on the field as they will punt the ball. Got a timeout called on the field. Michael Peacock, number 92, taking the play call back out to the special teams. With three seconds remaining in the first quarter, that is Farnham's first timeout. Blows the whistle back in, special teams. We have Godfrey back there to punt today. Nice snap. Godfrey puts it up, looking for the left side of the line. He gets a bounce and it's gonna be received by number 11 for the London Warriors. He's finally wrapped up there by 85 of the Farnham Knights and breaks a tackle. Now it's a foot race to the far left side against him and Alberford. And he's great. And he's still up on his feet. Look at him go before he finally brought down about at the 20. Eight yard line for the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. What an exciting play. Great punt there by Godfrey. The ball takes a little weird bounce and lands into his hands. Now look at how he fights from this one. How did he break out of here? He scrambles, this guy is hungry. And then the speed of that player as he has a foot race with Appleford. No contest to the far left side. And then he turns it on. Yards are just spilling off his heels like rubber as he brings it down, pushing the ball into uh, Farnham territory. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of our first quarter of play. Your scoring update today. Let's try that again to the production team. <laughs> Your scoring update today. Thank you, Mr. Production Team. <laughs> Farnham Knights at zero, London Warriors 22 as we end the first quarter of play. Once again, thank you for watching. If you want to be involved, please hashtag BAFA. If you'd like to get involved, we'd like to hear from you. That's hashtag BAFA. And if you want to be involved here, or you want to participate, you want to be one of these great referees, www.bafra.org. That's BAFRA.org. Quarterback takes the tight ball. He hands it to the big fullback, number 37. He has a breaks a tackle. He breaks two tackles before he's really scrambling for the far left side. The big man comes in fresh and is breaking tackles left and right, trying to scramble 
for the end zone. Look at that as he turns it on. High step and head is up as he walking. And there he is, finally wrapped up there by Powers, who forces him out of bounds. That's going to be second and two. Quarterback number seven hands the ball off to big 37. Look at the big man breaking tackles again. And he is in the end zone. The London Warriors bring out the A game. Big 37, the big fullback showing what he's made of as he's going back to take another rest. Yeah, you can take another rest. And he puts another six points on the board. Look at the big man as he breaks through the tackles. So the Farnham Knights are going to have to hit them low on these for these big uh, London players here to be able to take them down. Extra point attempt by number eight for the London Warriors. Change of players, number 51 comes out, number 13 for the Warriors come in. Extra point attempt by the London Warriors. Nice snap. And it's good. Ladies and gentlemen, you're scoring update. Farnham Knights at zero. London Warriors 28. We're in the second quarter of play. What a game and what an exhibition we're seeing today. So early in the game today, the London Warriors come out and they are dominating the field here at Farnham Rugby Stadium. Uh, they're showing a good demonstration Offside. of some good speed. Defense. Giving a good challenge to Farnham declined. Knights. Farnham Knights the one point starting to wind that defense in tight and starting to put some pressure on. So as the game continues, I'm glad and I'm very excited to see that we're going to have a lot more action to show you on the field. Once again, we would like, you, uh, like to thank you for watching. Continue watching our streaming broadcast as we bring it to uh, further additions here in Farnham, Surrey. The ball's number eight for the London Warriors. Back to receive. Ball's getting to uh, Cameron's hands. Cameron Wilcox, number 15. Cameron's looking for some space up the middle before he's finally wrapped up by the London Warriors. Good gain of about 15 yards before he's brought down. That ball will be marked about a 16 yard line and we do have a flag on the play. Let's take it to the field for the official ruling by Phil Humes. During the return, holding number 30 of the return team, half distance penalty, first down. And here come the Farnham Knights. They'll be taking that ball. That ball will be marked on the nine yard line, first and 10, Farnham Knights. Callum Brown, number four, on the quarterback. Aaron Squala, 42, my back. Oh, he was looking for his man, and the ball was intended for Godfrey. London Warrior defense got his hand up, put the ball down. Let's take another look at that. Good defensive play, good pass protection, great play all around. There he is, great hands, great intuition there by the defense. That is his job. Job well done. That's going to be second and 10, Farnham.
Ball is handed off to Sequala. Sequala looking for some room on the air right side. And the London secondary came in fast and hard. He's finally wrapped up by number 58 for the London Warriors. There is that carry. Sequala is looking for some outside room to the uh, far left side. And the hole just collapsed. And then come the Warriors. And that's going to be negative yardage there. Loss of about three yards. That's going to be third and 14 for our Farnham Knights. We have a timeout called on the play. We have Callum. Uh, At 14.02 in the second quarter, that is Farnham's second the timeout. Coach Pete Tutal brings the, time, the whole team over there, so a little discussion happening on, on the side. I'd like to take this time to also thank our uh, referees, our head ref today, Phil Humes. Our head up is Victor Janvardi. Headlinesman, Roger Goodgroves. Line judge, Jim Briggs. And back judge, Kieran Smith. We'd also like to thank our sponsors and for you for viewing. Our sponsors, once again, DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Productions. And now we'll take it back to the field as here come the Farnham Knights. Third, long 14, Callum Brown. Taking the ball out the shotgun. There's the snap. Callum's looking for his man. Callum in and out the hands of Aaron Sakwala. Oh, he is going to really hate himself for that. He had all the room upfield to make that a positive gain. Let's take another look at that. There's Aaron, and there is that combination right there into the hands, and that is going to be an Aaron error. He is very upset about that one. That's going to be a fourth down situation. Fourth and long for the Farnham Knights, and it looks like they are going to go for it. At 13.56 in the second quarter, that is Farnham's third and final timeout. Well, the Knights are eating these timeouts real quick, and it is blustery out here in Farnham, Surrey. I can feel the tower kind of swaying a little bit from left to right. I'm just joking. <laughs> And there we go. It looks like the Knights are, are going to bring the special teams out to the field. They will be punting the ball. Back to punt today is going to be number 99. That is big Matthew Niven. Niven, 99. Back to receive 11 for the Warriors. Clean snap. And we get a very, very bad punt. That ball is going to go about 15 yards before it takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. That's going to give London Warriors great field position to put the pressure back on the Knights as we are still in second quarter of play. And as you can see from that punt, that is not what the Knights were expecting by bringing in Mr. Niven on that one. That's going to be first and 10, London Warriors. This is big number 66, Outweight comes off from the field. And here come the Warriors, their quarterback. I wish I knew that guy's name. Number seven. Warriors utilizing their uh, roster as they switch out their players. We've got number 33 as the eye back. Play action. The pressure is on by, oh, by the Farnham Knights. Pig 92 comes in. Michael Peacock for the Knights and puts the sacks on the, uh, sack on the London Warriors. Let's take another look at that play on the far left side. 
Look at Peacock. No one touches him. And he goes right on there and lays the quarterback down. That was nice and clean. And that's going to be the first sack of the game against the London Warriors. Great pressure there by Michael Peacock, number 92 for the Farnham Knights. Second and 15, the London Warriors. Puts his man in motion, play action fake, hands it off to Big 33. He's looking on the right side. He finds a hole, and he's still on his feet before he tries to move the chains down. That like looks like it may be good enough for a first down. Great hole on the far right side, breaks through, chains down. Let's take another look at that play. Great speed as he turns it on, foot race to the right side. Great blocking by the London Warriors downfield and by all linesmen, and they play well executed. Ball is back in the red zone, and it's going to be third and about a long one for the London Warriors. Number seven for, uh, lined up to the left side of the Warriors. They hand it off to mid number 33 again. He's high stepping through the line, and he's still on his feet, breaking tackles before he's finally hit by number 35, Kid. And that is going to be a touchdown for the London Warriors. Let's take another look at that run. Hands it off to the big man as he makes the foot race. And look at the speed when he sees his hole. He just jams right through it. And that high step and running abilities and style of the London Warriors is being renowned and showing here in Farnham, Surrey today as that's another six points for the London Warriors. Number eight once again on the extra point attempt. Good snap, balls up, and that's going to be good, ladies and gentlemen. Your scoring update today, Farnham Knights, a zero, London Warriors, 35, as we are getting the wind blowing us here in Farnham, Surrey. So it is a little bit blustery. Um, we, <laughs> I'm glad you're at home, so if you are at home and you're not feeling this wind, sit back, get you something nice and cold in your hands, put the popcorn on, bring the kids in, put the stereo up a little bit louder, and feel like your season will never end. We'll be helping to bring you British American football streaming live to your living room. I'm still amazed at the technology that this production team brings to this field. Awesome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be kicking the ball off. The time has been put back on, and number eight for the London Warriors is kicking the ball, and the ball is up. High kick. Looks like it's going to go right to the into the end zone. Wilcox and Godfrey elect to let that ball go. They'll be taking the ball at their own 20. That'll be possession for the Farnham Knights. And here we go, Farnham Knight taking the ball, first and 10. And we're getting some information coming from you guys. I'll thank you once again. You want to get involved. I'll thank you for seeing us your information. Hashtag BAFA. Callum Brown takes the ball, hands it off to Sequala. Sequala looking for some room on the left side. He cuts back over to the right side, and he is finally swooped down by the fast streaming number 17 for the London Warriors. Let's look at that play that was broken up and how they were able to contain Sequala on that one. Sequala's looking for the far left side, and he sees the hole. Look at that containment. He says, let's take it to the right side. Let's put some speed on, but look at the speed and the execution. Great tackling there by the London Warriors. They bring Sequala down, no gain. Second and 13, Farnham Knights. Number 58 there on the offensive line, Joe Healy, experienced player for the Farnham Knights. Thank you, Joe. Callum, Callum, play action fake, hand this is Koala, Koala right side. The defensive line of the Warnham Warriors is putting the pressure on the Farnham Knights. 
They are standing that offensive line up and letting them not open the holes for Sequala. Sequala is being shut down in the backfield here in Farnham, Surrey. Let's see what the Farnham Knights are going to do and how they can achieve some positive yardage and reach the end zone today. What a game. Third, long 12. Knights come out, strong left. He's looking for Jameson, and the pass is intercepted by number five from the London Warriors, and he's trying to stay on his feet, and he's breaking some more tackles. Oh, what an interception thrown intended for Jameson, number 87. Callum Brown had the time in the backfield. The pass was rushed, and that was an interception right into the hands of number five, and that is definitely going to put the pressure on. Let's see if we can get another look at that from the beginning. Um, production team, please. Okay, uh, looks like, okay, that's after the interception. So here comes the London Warrior offense. They are hungry to try to get that ball in the end zone. What a great play by the defense as they are really, really dominating here in Farnham, Surrey. And they bring the big man, number 37, back. Let's watch him work. Play action fake. They threw the ball to number 15. He's finally wrapped up there by Powers. Looks like he'll have no gain as he tries to scramble in for the end zone. And he does make it into the end zone. That's going to be a touchdown. London Warriors, let's take another look at that. Nice green pass over there to number 15. Boom, right in the hands. He puts his head down, tries to scramble through, and all that needs to cross that ball. There he is. What? That's a touchdown. What great intuition. That is called small ball playing. He knew all he had to do was just reach that ball. Once that ball crosses over the line, that is a touchdown. He can bring it back into his chest. Well done by the runner there for the London Warriors. Extra point again, once again, by number eight for the London Warriors. Snap. It's up. And that's a classic two-point conversion there for the London Warriors, ladies and gentlemen. They are shutting Farnham Knights down here in Monk Lane Stadium. Farnham, your scoring update. Farnham Knights, zero. London Warriors, 43. 10.35 in the second quarter of gameplay. What are we going to do? What are we going to do now? Got another, I got another feed here. Uh, th uh, thank you. Um, I, I've, been, I've been living in Hampshire all of my life, and I have never seen uh, the Farnham Knights play or any other team. Oh, well. <laughs> www.bafa.com. www.bafa.com. We have been here for over 20 years over here in, uh, in, in England, uh, British American Sports. I see the Farnham Knights have been going on since at least 85. So we've been here for many years. Please come down and see us, Monk Lane Field. We'll be here next week. We'll be more than happy to have you here next to the drummer boy and amongst all the other fans here at the stadium. And the ball is kicked up. The ball is high. And looks like Cameron is going to take that ball. He's looking for some blocking. Cameron looks to the left side. Cameron is slung down to the field by Big 51. Nowhere to go before that big guy got his hands on Cameron, and that was down to the ground for the Knights. Let's take another look at that play. The special teams there by the London Warriors. Look at the special teams. So there's 51 lined up. Let's see if we can uh, keep our eye on him as the ball is gone. Look at the speed put down. The ball hangs up high by that win. Gets to Cameron, and there he is. Look it. He has cut right through that line, and there he Cameron has nowhere to go. Cameron didn't even take two steps forward before he was brought down one step back. That's going to be first and ten. Ball is going to be marked about the 15-yard line. Farnham Knights. Strong right. Lateral pass over to Sequala. We got a flag in the play. Got a lateral toss over there to the right side. Looks like we may have some motion on the O-line. Let's get the official rolling. Dale Humes.
False start on the offense, number 58. Five yard penalty, still first down. That's well, gonna be against Farnham. First down, first and 15, Farnham. What a great weekend for sports this weekend. The weather has been great out here, just a little windy. Temperatures is about uh, Celsius, a good about 19, 18 degrees. That's about 72 and Fahrenheit. Callum out the shotgun. Callum's looking to the left side. Callum finds his man, it's, it's Cox. Cameron, Will Cox, he's on his feet. Cameron's first reception of the game play today. Let's take another look at that pass. Oh, Callum, you're looking good. Takes his time, nice, good pass there, finds his man. Executed route, he hangs onto the ball before he's wrapped up by number 12 in the gang of the London Warriors as they're trying to strip the ball out and hold him up there. That's going to move the chains down and we do have a man down for the London Warriors as medical help is coming onto the field. Once again, we would like to thank our sponsors for bringing you this streaming live show. We always thank you for your support. DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Productions. So I was talking about what an exciting week of sports on uh, this weekend. Results, um, if you watched any of the sports here, we had uh, Liverpool, took it against Tottenham, that was 0-2, and Madrid, um, I know we have a lot of fans for Liverpool, we have a lot of fans for Tottenham that were upset, but we had that, we had one an upset at about two o'clock in the morning here, GMT, Andy Ruiz Jr. puts a stoppage on to Joshua Aaron. Yo, I'm still hitting my head. I'm still in shock. I looked at that and I was almost in tears. No, no, you didn't do it. But that's going to make Anthony Joshua a lot hotter, a lot hungrier. And I guess that's just sports. <laughs> And we got a one here coming up from my friend Vernon K. Vernon used to play for the London Warriors. Great streaming ad, hashtag BAFA. Vernon, thank you ever so much. We always appreciate your support. I'm sure everybody here is aware of Vernon K. Um, I used to commentate when he used to play with the London Warriors gay play. A great player, exciting player. He wanted to feel it how it was to actually play, and uh, he played the game well. So, Vernon, thank you ever so much for your support. We thank you ever so much. And, uh, oh, I don't have the roster to find out who that London warrior is that's injured, but we do hope that he is going to be okay. Once again, um, injuries we try to avoid here at all costs. You see these young men padded up, and ladies and gentlemen, we can do a little bit of math here. You want to get your calculators out, but let me give you some examples. If I have a man that's 200 pounds, and he can run the 50-yard dash in six seconds, we'll compound that force to another man that can do the same, you have over 3,500 square inches of power against each other. That is a big hit. So without this gear here, um, these gentlemen would, uh, well, they would be in an ambulance. And we have that player, he is up on his feet. We have applause there from the crowd, and there he goes, they helped him out. That's number 12. He's been a valuable player today for the London Warriors. We hope that he's gonna be okay and that he'll be fit and ready to represent his team next week. Once again, you want to join Phil and the referees down here, Mr. Good Groves, Kieran, www.bafra.org. That's www.bafra.org. You too can call the plays, and you, oh, I can say that you can be one of our field attorneys. <laughs> Back to the game, first and 10. Callum, Callum hands it over there to Sequala. Sequala finally finds his room on the left side as he starts running up trying to make a first down. Sequala, great pass, I mean, great blocking on the far left side. Let's take another look at that play there. Callum comes from the shotgun, he got a nice little hand there. Sequala says, okay, let's find my favorite sweet spot, and there he is, finds his room on that far left side, and he starts scrambling and scratching for yardage. Once again, it's all about the inches, and we got second, long four. Barnum Knights. 
Nice, lined up strong right. Sequala on the eye back. Hands off to Sequala. Sequala is looking for the right side. He finds a hole off the right guard. Gain of about another two yards. It looks like the Knights are doing something out here today. Let's take another look there at, at that offensive line for the Farnham Knights. Now, this awesome of this offensive line can work. They're very experienced. They bring a lot of strength. They bring a lot of experience. They know the game. They know how to open the holes. When they are working together, there is nothing they cannot achieve. And once they can open those holes, they can make it sweet for Sequala to step right on through. That's going to be third. Very short for the Farnham Knights. In comes number 15, Cameron Wilcox for the Knights. That's bringing Sequala out, number 42. So in the back backfield there, we have uh, Freddie for the Knights. Uh, strong left over there with number 84. Godfrey in the eye back. Snap. Handed off to Godfrey. Godfrey's fighting for the first down, and Godfrey looks like he may have the first down. Let's see where they mark his knee down at. Great run there by Godfrey, Stephen Godfrey. That man can play all the positions, and look at them turn on the speed. Godfrey keeps it low, keeps that ball protected. Look at those legs, keep pumping as he scrambles for yardage. He looks like, and he does have it. Well done, Stephen Godfrey. That's going to be first and 10. Farnham Knights, midfield position here. Once again, we always like to hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. Hashtag BAFA at Farnham Knights. Thank you. First and 10. Farnham. Nice snap. Nice lateral toss over to Godfrey. Godfrey's looking for a hole on the right side. Boom, shaka like a boom. He's wrapped up by the Warriors, number 58, as they start clacking pads against each other. Oh, we got some action here in Farnham. Look at that. Boy, we almost got some popcorn. I haven't heard my favorite popcorn. You guys know that my favorite sound. So uh, when these boys start putting it on, it, it sounds like the popcorn machine out there in the field. So uh, they're starting to fill it as we're still in the second quarter of play. I know that the Knights are getting fired up here on the sideline. What you guys can hear is them getting very fired up. They do not want to take this here at home. There we go. Second, 13. Sequala back in the backfield. High snap. That'll pitch to Sequala. Sequala looking for the left side. Sequala does a kick. It does a cut. Negative yardage. The London Warriors see that, and they contain him on the right side. Let's take another look at that play. There's a high snap there. Nice lateral there. Beautiful hands there by Sequala. Now he starts looking downfield, and boom. Big 51. That man is putting in OT here today in Farnham. Works hard there once again for the London Warriors. Contains it. Negative yardage. Third down. Third, 14. Farnham Knights. Callum, deep in the shotgun. Pass protection. He's got a little bit of, oh, he's looking for Sequala. He was rushed out the pocket. Once again, he didn't set. Incomplete pass to Sequala. Let's take a look at that again as the defense for the Warriors puts the pressure on. Here he is putting the pressure on, and there, a little bit too low before um, the pass is incomplete. Didn't get his time enough to set. That's going to be a fourth down situation. Here comes the special teams here for the Farnham Knights. They're going to punt the ball back to receive today for the London Warriors, number 11. That guy is fast, number 11. Let's see if the camera can keep up with him on this one today. That's my hint to the cameraman. Big 77, Lewis Bowers Murphy comes in. Special teams. Niven, number 99, he does another wobbly punt. And oh, that's going to cause a flag on that. Let's see where they're going to mark it. There is a flag on the field. That ball was punted out of bounds. Bill Humes blows the whistle. And there's our field uh, courtroom drama as uh, 
Humes discusses with Roger Goodgrove. Well, once again, as we await for the official ruling on the field, we'd like to thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwood, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects and Recruitment, LT Sports, Drew Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Production. And what I can smell coming back here from the stadium is barbecue. I love coming to the games. One of my favorite things I like to do is run back over to the concessions there, grab one of those juicy hot dogs, they use the money to help the sponsor the teams here. So if you're amongst one of our spectators here, you're feeling a little bit peckish, a little hungry, go on back there. You smell the barbecue. Take a far left. Follow your nose. Go on over there and get one of those cheeseburgers and one of those great sausages. I'm going to, and I'll meet you over there in about uh, 10 minutes. As we're at 7.09 in the second quarter of uh, play. 15 yards. During the kick. So it's still a oh, black ball. Yeah. Still black ball. Still black ball. Yes. Okay. Over to the field. During the kick, tripping, 52 defense, 15 yards, first down, Warriors. Okay, you heard it right. Yes, that was tripping. Now, I'm looking in, I have a little guidebook here. I've seen every play called. I haven't seen that one in a while. But we're going to see if we can see it in the instant replay here. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, there's the ball. It's up. And they say about number 52, so let's just keep our eye on the field. Oh, there it is, 52 and power, and uh, Lewis. Yes, that's where the, uh, the penalty was marked. There we go, okay, first and 10. Landon Warriors, that's gonna push the ball back. That's gonna be more uh, field position, giving the Farnham Knights some breathing room and some space. Warriors once again taking it out the shotgun. Big uh, we've got number 22, eye back there for the London Warriors. Snap, he's looking for 22 on the screenplay. And he finds his man, 22 holds on to the ball, and boom, that's it, that's what I'm talking about. I heard popcorn being put on the field there by Appleford. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take another look at that play as the defense reads that screen. There it is, nice screen there to number 22, holds on to the ball. Here he is, look at this hit. Boom, baby, I got gotcha. you. How well to hit there by number 25. And that did result. We do have an injured man on the field. Uh, that's number 13, that's the wide receiver and one of the special players, I mean special team players for the London Warriors. He is injured on the field. Um, let's see what happened on that one. So there's the play. Okay, there's the run. We got a good cut there, boom. There it is, Appleford on the hit. Um, we can't see, oh, there he is, there it is, there it is. Uh, one of the players fell on him, and you know, these players weigh a lot. Okay, all right, 16, 17, 18, 19 stone. Yes, I said it. And uh, so that was a lot of pressure being put on that young man. We're going to hope that he is okay. Uh, once again, you want to be a ref? www.bafra.com, .org, bafra.org. We, too, would like to have you here. Uh, yes, I got it. Can um. Can women be referees? Yes, you can. Last week we had Laura Taylor, Miss Taylor, um, Suzanne Taylor, my apologies, um, refing our game last week. Um, she's been part of the uh, BAFR, BAFRA Association for quite some time, and she rep represents the women quite well. She's very professional, so you too can join her and be one of the referees. We'd like to see you here. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Do we have to have 11 men on the field? No, but you can't have any more. <laughs> if, if you're so inclined, you can have 10 men out there, nine, eight, seven, but you cannot have 12 or 13, so no. And he's up on his field. Uh, we hope that young man's gonna be okay. Big 13, he's being assisted by his colleagues. Now he will have to uh, take a, a few minutes and go off to the bench. But we are glad to see him back on his feet. He's been a valuable, play, valuable player here for the London Warriors. Good to see him um, back up. There he goes. Looks like he's going to shake it off. Okay. Kurt Liam Roberts missing playing football, but don't miss playing London Warriors. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Hashtag BFA. Yes, I don't, I don't blame you there, uh, Kurt. Um, um, I don't know if I want to uh, contest against this team today also. And here we are. Uh, second. 
Short, London Warriors, man in motion. And they utilize that man in motion. And there's the speedster number 11. OMG, look at him go to 20, 25, 15, 5. He ran faster than I could actually see it. What a play. My, okay, Kurt. We understand this, I concur. After that play, can we see that play again? Production manager, what a play by the Warriors. So here we are, quarterback saying it's gonna be in the shotgun. Calls his man, audible. Number 11, come on over here. Quick snap, hands it off to him. Look at the blocking downfield by 22. And once again, that boy's got speed. He turns it on, goes, Look at that go bass light going down the M25 at 2 o'clock in the morning. There's just no one there. You're all by yourself, and you're in the end zone. What a play. Special teams is going to have a challenge trying to stop that man, and it's going to be for the extra point for the London Warriors. Once again, back to make that conversion is number eight. Well, this London Warriors team is one tough team. I, I think that this London Warriors team, I, I bet you they could give UCLA a run for their money. I really do. Number eight back for the extra point. Number 15 once again to hold. Nice snap. Ball's up. And once again, a very clean two points. Your scoring update here today. Um, one second. Let's take one more take that one more look at that uh, touchdown. There he is. Man is coming right across. Look at the speed. No one touches him. He turns it on the foot race. This young man is fast. He is trucking it. No one, and he is there for six. Oh my gosh, that guy can run. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here. Land, uh, Farnham Knights, a zero. London Warriors, 50. They're working on the shutout streak for the season. 5.55 left in the second quarter of play. And here comes that win once more. And it's got a little taint of sea breeze out here. Um, we're about uh, 40 miles, about 40 miles from from the actual ocean, but uh, you can smell the little sea breeze. So we are having that uh, southerly wind coming rushing up here to uh, Farnham, Surrey, Hampshire, and we're going to have the kickoff. Yes, that is number eight, who will be kicking it off for the Warriors. Ball's going to be marked on the 15-yard line. We did have a previous penalty. That pushed it back five yards. And here we go. Back to the field. Ball is up as high, and it's in the hands of Cameron. Cameron takes it at the 10. He makes it to the 20. He makes it down to the 30-yard line before he's wrapped up by that faster speedster, number 51. He is putting in the old overtime here for the London Warriors. He wraps them up. Good special teams work by the defense there. Let's take another look at that return. Great return there by Cameron. He gets some good blocking, so there, there is a very positive gain, and there is that special Big 51 for the London Warriors. I gotta get that guy's name. What a player. So any of you viewers out there, if you can, ha if you can uh, help me out identify that player, that's hashtag BAFA. Let me know. High snap. He finds the qual on the right side. There is no one there to hold him. Oh! Oh! Sequala is wrapped by the helmet. Oh, by Big 95, by the Warriors, that is going to be an infraction. Let's take another look at that play. The flags come out quick and rapid on that one. That is what a no-no. And let's see that again. Nice snap there. We got a nice screen pass to Koala. Sequala is there and running, and there it is. Face mask, ladies and gentlemen. That is the biggest no-no of the game. That will cost you a first down if you are on the defense. Great yardage for the offense, and we hope that Aaron Sequala is okay that can put you on the bench for the rest of the season. First down. That's going to be an automatic first down. Putting the ball in midfield position. Sequala still up on his feet. Farnham Knights are coming out, and they are scratching hungry here at home today. Go. 
First and 10. Coffrey on the right. Hand off to Sequala. Sequala's looking up the middle. The hole is kind of collapsing. Sequala scrambles for a gain. Short gain of about a yard before he's finally brought down. Let's take another look at that hole as he was trying to uh, dive through on the right side off the uh, offensive guard. And there it is. It collapses a little bit. DC tries to force it open some more. And Sequala scrambles through a good gain of about a yard. Second, long nine. Knights. At exactly two minutes, that is a two minute warning. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the two minute warning here. Once again, your scoring update and Farnham, Surrey, Monk Lane, Farnham Rugby Stadium, Farnham Knights, zero, London Warriors, 50. Today's game is brought to you by DNA Brickwork, DNA Tango Securities, Premier Prospects LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Production. Back to the field. Play action fake, and the sack is put on. Oh, the sack. Callum didn't see Big 58 come through. He tried to set himself in the pocket. The blitz came through, and there it was. He is on the ground. Let's take another look at that play. On the far right side is where that young man came through. There's the snap, and there it is. There he goes. Move right past the koala. Whoop into Callum, that is going to be a sack, that's going to be a loss of yardage, second and a long 14 for the Farnham Knights. Once again, if you would like, we would like to hear from you, hashtag BAFA, let us hear how you are streaming today. Callum out the shotgun, Callum sits in the pocket, the pass protect rush is coming on, he finds the ball on the left side, the ball is looking for some room, he's breaking the tackle still on the left side before he's on his feet. And he's finally brought down, good gain of about uh, eight yards. That's gonna be a fourth down situation, fourth and a long six. Let's take another look at that as the, the pressure was being put on Mr. Brown. There he goes, he finds uh, Aaron. Aaron gets a good break of tackle right here. Stays on his feet and scrambles for another two yards. Stretches the ball out there. That is gonna be a fourth down situation. Ball is marked midfield. Looks like the Knights are going to go for it. They are short of about uh, two yards. Excuse me. Short, short as six. Fourth and six. Fourth and a long six. Lateral tosses Sequala to the right side. Sequala looking for a hole. Sequala finds the hole. Sequala still on his feet. And before he's finally drugged down, fighting for that first down marker. Looks like he isn't going to get it, and that's going to turn the ball back over to the London Warriors. What a great attempt there by the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that run. Look at Sequala as he powers through. The big man from Surrey pumps the legs as hard as he can, keeps the ball tight to his body as the London Warriors scramble and try to rip it out of his hands. What a play. That is one strong young man. That's going to be first and 10. London Warriors taking the ball. Midfield position, there's that number 11 streakster. Cameraman, keep your eyes on that guy. He's just too fast. Big 32 there in the eye back. We got 15 on the ham. He hands it off to Big 33, and he is running through the hole. He's breaking some tackles, and he finally gets a good gain of about four yards. The big man, number 33, is powering through, opening through, coming through those holes of the London Warrior offense. Look at this play. Look how he look, finds that hole off the tackle and just squeezes his body through as he tries to break through uh, Mr. Peacock, number 92, and Stevie, number 30, back to the field. We got the run on the field. There's 33. He's scrambling for the outside line. He's got a first down. What a play. Let's take another look. Can we have that one, Mr. Production Manager? What a play. That guy got some speed, but the Farnham Knights are finding a way how to get him down on first contact. That's always important. Let's take a look at that again. Big eye back. Hands it to him, right through the hole. Look at him, turn it on. Breaking tackles before they're finally wrapping him up. That young man's got some speed. First and 10, London Warriors are trying to, try to push off into the Farnham Knights red zone. Number 15, hand, play action fake. He's looking way downfield to number one. He's got number one, whoa, ouch.
pass is incomplete. Let's take another look at that. He had great pass protection. Does the play action fake, sits in the pocket, and what an arm. He had his man wide open, a little bit overthrown. Powers was trying to do the foot race to catch up to him, and that was going to be incomplete. Second, 10, London Warriors. He hands it off there to the big, 33, uh, big man, number 33, and he is snuffed. Loss of yardage, uh, Farnham Knights defensive line and secondary puts the pressure on. Nowhere to go on that one. Let's take another look at how, how that hole kind of collapsed. And there it is. Look at that. There's big Peacock there. Suchi and Freddie have them wrapped up. Nowhere to go on that one. Loss of yardage. Third down, third and 12, London Warriors. That is the end of the first half. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of the first half of gameplay today. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights 0, London Warriors 50. Please continue watching. We really appreciate all your information. We appreciate you uh, sending us your questions. Once again, get involved. Hashtag BAFA. We'll be right back with you in about 15 minutes, right after the halftime intermission.
close. I did him. Sorry. Amazing.
gameplay has been an exciting one, but once again, the London Warriors have came here and coming out to dominate as your scoring update is Farnham Knights, L zero, London Warriors, 50, and we are ready for the kickoff. The Farnham Knights will be back to receive. Thank you, Mr. Production Manager. Looks like my microphone has a different mic, and here we are. Back to kickoff once again is number eight for the London Warriors. We got a nice high kick over there for Cameron Wilcox. Cameron takes the ball about his own eight yard line. Cameron makes it to the 20. Cameron's looking for a big hole. Cameron is held up by the London Warriors. He gets about 10 yards, gets the ball about the 20 yard line, and oh, Looks like we have some things going on in the field. Let's get the official ruling. Will the London Warriors? Um, yep, that's going to be Farnham Nice ball. Ball still. They'll be marking that ball at the 24-yard line. First and 10, Farnham Knights. Oh, once again, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. Today's show is brought to you by DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, and your friends here at uh, Cheers Mate Productions. Thank you for that instant replay there. Once again, first and 10, Farnham Knights. Strong right, not uh, Knights come out. Brady and Cameron on the far right. So call in the backfield, snap. Looks for Jameson, Jameson on the tight end. Jameson's got the ball, he's holding the ball. Good gain of about five yards for the Farnham Knights. Good pass reception there. That is the uh, Cameron Jameson combination. Let's take a look at that again. Nice pass protection. Looks over to the right side, and there's Jameson. Nice and clear. Jameson takes that. Good reception. Good gain of about four yards. Holds on to the ball before he's finally wrapped up by number 12 for the London Warriors. That's going to be second, second and a long two for the Farnham Knights. Well, we still got the wind blustering, but we got the sun out, so it's still feeling good. Out the shotgun, hands off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for some room between the guard. Sequala's got some room and he's breaking tackles from the far right side. As this Aaron Sequala, Sequala's running out of bounds. He gets the ball to the midfield position. Aaron Sequala is turning it on here in Farnham, Surrey. Let's take a look, another look at that play. Aaron Sequala breaking tackles. Look at the footwork of that young man. As he does a nice juke to the right, breaks another one off of number 29 and then makes positive yardage up the field. Ladies and gentlemen, that carry is gonna move the chains down. First down, Farnham Knights, midfield field position. Knights come out in the strong right. Squall on the high back. Shotgun, Callum Brown. Nice snap. Once again, looks for Jameson. Jameson on the second carry. Jameson scram scrambling for another few yards. They'll blow the whistle. That's going to be forward progress. That's the Callum Jamison combination package there. Good gain of about uh, two yards. Let's take another look at it. Nice snap, and once again, Callum setting his feet beautiful. Jamison's got the sticky sticky on his hands. Nothing's coming out on that one. And there he is as he scrambles and pumps those legs for extra yardage. That's gonna be second down, second. Short eight there for the Farnham Knights. Dobson, big 67 on the snap there. Bringing our experience center for the Farnham Knights. Nice snap. Callum sitting in the pocket. Callum's looking for Jameson. Pass is incomplete. Good uh, defensive pass protection there by the London Warriors. Let's take another look at that play. Jameson, um, Callum uh, looks like he's feeling comfortable in that pocket today. That London offense is giving, I mean, that Farnham offense is giving him some confidence. Look at that smooth, beautiful pass there. Unfortunately, a little bit short there for, um, Jameson pass is going to be incomplete. Third, long seven, Knights. Godfrey lined up on the far left side. Strong left there for the Farnham Knights. Wilcox on the far right side. Nice snap. Lateral tossed over there to Sequala. Sequala's looking for his favorite side on the left side. And the Warriors come and contain him. And that's going to be a loss of yardage for the Farnham Knights. The London Warriors saw that one. And the uh, secondary came down, shut that uh, that play down, and there it is to Sequala. Sequala is looking for some room, and the, pa the blocking downfield gets broken up by the London Warriors. Nowhere to go. That's going to be a loss of yardage. Fourth down situation, and the Farnham Knights are going to go for it. Colin Brown is still in the huddle as he calls the play for the Knights.
Nice snap. Callum sits in the pocket. The Blitz is putting on the ball. It's hit, thrown over to Sequala. Sequala's fighting from the middle. Sequala's still up on his feet as he moves the ball down. Good gain of about five yards, but that is going to hand the ball over to the London Warriors. They will take possession of the ball. Midfield position, first and ten. London Warriors as Sequala gets up very slowly off the field. I think that's an accidental, accidental drop of the flag there. No penalty on the play. Sequala putting in that uh, that yardage. Um, one of our key players there for the Farnham Knights, that young man really puts on a good show. First and 10, a London Warriors. And there he is, big 37 for the Warriors, 15 on the ham, that guy, number 37. Oh, he can run, there it is. Play action, fake the 37. 15 looks for his man, number 41. He's breaking a tackle, he's got the first down. 41 is on his feet before he's fully brought down by uh, number 35, I love that kid. On the play, look at that. Play action fake there to the big man, number 15. He sits in there, pass protection, beautiful. Finds the big fullback, 41. Big guy got the ball, and the train goes running down. That's the district line, ladies and gentlemen, before he's finally brought down by the Farnham Knights. Oh, there we are. First and 10, London Warriors. Play action fake, they do hand it off to the big man, the big man, 37, and he turns it on before he's finally drugged down by 23 Gilly for the Farnham Knights, and that's gonna bring the trains closer down, the chains go down, that's gonna be another first down for the London Warriors. Let's look at the big man run. As he does a cut, that is like a stampede of Buffalo as he comes through the hole. You're not stopping this district line. You are not stopping the district line, and there he is. He might be late, but you can't stop him. That's going to be first and 10, Warriors. Number 15 out the shotgun. He's going to sit in the pocket all day long, looking downfield for his man. The pass is incomplete. There are no flags on the play. What good pass protection there by the Farnham Knights. Let's take another look at that play. Number 15, quarterback, we don't have his name, but he takes a nice, smooth character to sit in that pocket. Beautiful pass there downfield, intended there for number 11. That's our Speedy Gonzalez guy there. I don't have his name, but he's very fast. Unfortunately, that pass was incomplete. That's gonna be a second down to 10, London Warriors. 15 out the shotgun. And he gives it to the big man. There he is, the district line, as he goes through and trying to break a tackle through the uh, Stevie. He's finally brought down about the five-yard line. Uh, we got Stevie getting up a little slow there. Uh, that's number 30 that, um, well, he put himself right in front of the line. You saw that. He had courage, but he wasn't going to uh, let him go through without his effort then there. Good tackle there, Stevie. We hope you're okay. That is going to be uh, first and goal for the London Warriors. Back in the shotgun position. They hand it back off to the big man. He goes off to the right side looking through the tackle, and that is going to be a touchdown. London Warriors, they bring the big district line in to put the points on, and let's look at the big man as he goes through the hole once again. High stepping, look at the tackle, pull blocking, hardly touch, and by the time he gets to the end zone, he's just down, touched by Gilly, by Gilly, and that is going to be a touchdown, extra point attempt by number eight for the London Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Uh, give me about four seconds. Make that about 20. Currently, Farnham Knight zero, London Warriors 56, extra point attempt by number eight for the Warriors. Snap. And that is wide right. That's not going to be good there for number eight. He's been pretty consistent through the game, but that's not going to be good there. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update. Farnham Knights zero, London Warriors 56, as they try to continue their shutout streak here against the Farnham Knights. What a game. We're really glad that you're sending in a lot of your feedback. Once again, we'd like to hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. We'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors for bringing you this lovely show today. Today's show is brought to you by a DNA Brickwork. Tango Securities, Premier Prospects, Recruitment, LT Sports, True Glaze Windows and Conservatories, and our friends here at Cheers Mate Production. That's what I always like to say, Cheers Mate. Oh, we got it that Ken from Ken Wilford. Ken, thank you. Ken says, great commentary. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you, Ken. Uh, we all really appreciate your compliments, and we appreciate you watching the show. Um, and we'd like to hear from a lot more of you guys. Hashtag 
B-A-F-A. Let's hear from you as we take the game back to the field. Kick it off once again, number eight for the London Warriors. That ball is up, it's up high. It's in Cameron's hands. Cameron's looking, he's at the 20. Cameron is finally wrapped up. OMG, that's that man, number 51, putting in the overtime once again for the London Warriors. Who is that masked man? Oh, is he getting up slow, but he is still putting in the work. That's gonna give Farnham Knights good field position. They'll be taking the ball at their own 22. First and 10, Farnham. Barnum are yet to get into the end zone. Shotgun position, play action fake. Callum's looking to keep the ball on the left side and he is wrapped up and that's gonna be a negative uh, yardage. He is brought down, loss of yards, about four yards. Let's take another look at that play. Cameron was gonna do the quarterback play action fake there. His blocking gets wrapped up, nowhere to go and there's 50, my God, who is that mask man? Number 51. Putting in the work, and he puts it down. That's going to be a loss of yardage. Second down, 14, Farnham. So I only have one recommendation for the London Warriors. Can you put names on the back of your players' jerseys? <laughs> Please, these guys are excellent. Let's let the world know who they are. Second and long, Farnham Knights coming out the shotgun. Play action fake, hands off to Sequala. Sequala looking for the inside room. He bounces off the outside tackle, and he's going to fight good gain of about five yards for Aaron Sequala before he's finally wrapped up by a swarm of black jerseys and black helmets. Let's take another look at that play. I love watching this young man run. What heart. As he takes the ball, and there it is, a beautiful cut there. And he looks for the outside, but look at that heart as he sees it is jammed up, but he tries to push on through. The strength to keep possession of the ball is astronomical. That's going to be a third down situ situation there for the Farnham Knights. Third and a long 11. Ball's marked at the 23-yard line. Callum's looking for his man, intended for Godfrey. Pass is incomplete to the far right side. That's gonna be a fourth down situation. And here come the Farnham Knights special teams as they will be punting the ball off to the London Warriors. Let's take a look again at exactly what pressure was put on. That was a very important play there by the Farnham Knights. Um, he was looking for his man, but it looks like Callum may have been rushed. Let's see, do we have some pressure being put on? No. That was just a bad throw there. Um, uh, incomplete error, error, error on uh, Callum Brown. That's gonna be a fourth down situation. Back to receive is number one for the London Warriors. And number 19. Niven to do the nice good punt down the field. And once again, we got a punt that's going out of bounds. Oh, special teams for the Farnham Knights is gonna have to figure out something for their punter out there because we are getting bad field position on those punt returns. And that's going to give the London Warriors great field position. We're in the third quarter of play here today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with us. We would like to hear from you. Hashtag B-A-F-A. -A. That is hashtag B-A-F-A. -A. Let us hear from you. And if you, once again, would like to be one of those nice players wearing the striped shirts on the field, www.bafra.org. That's www.bafra.org. Please, we want to have you. Quarterback number 15, pass protection all day long. Looking for his man downfield. He's looking for his man. Pass is incomplete. What pass protection? He could have written two letters on that one. Let's take a look at that play. The London Warriors offensive line gives him all the time in the world. Look at that. He is nice and set. What an arm number 15 looks for his man downfield. Almost has him. Ball is a little bit overthrown. That's going to take that ball back. It's going to be incomplete. Second and down, 10, London Warriors. Snap, they hand it off to the district line, and there's the big man. Good gain of about two yards as he scrambles through. London Warriors trying to maintain possession of the ball, trying to keep it on the ground on that one. We got Suchi uh, getting up a little slow. 
All right, that's Niven, number 99, getting up a little snow. Defensive tackle there for the uh, Farnham Knights. The New Warriors, third long eight, taking the ball out the shotgun position, and we have a whistle called. Timeout. And we'll get the uh, off official uh, who called that timeout there. Our head ref, Phil Humes, on the field. And speaking about the refs, we'd like to thank our refs today. Our head referee, Phil Humes. Our head ump, Victor Janvari. Our head linesman, Roger Goodgroves. Our line judge, Jim Briggs. And our back judge today is Kieran Smith. Today's game is brought With to you by... With 23 seconds remaining in the third quarter, that is Farnham's first timeout of the half. Timeout called on Farnham. That's Pete, Pete Tutal calling the shots there on the head coach. I'm looking down, I can see uh, Tango and Coach Ox there. All of them are intently have eyes on the field for the Farnham. Also offensive line coach there, Laura Ducky Field. Got her eyes intently on the field and we have a play action fake. And the quarterback, he's gonna go to the big man, number 37. There's the district line as he goes down the field. He goes down and finally brought down there by Powers. Powers takes him down low. Let's take a look at that play again. Nice screen goes over to the left side. Play action fake over to the left. Beautiful quarterbacking, nice and calm. Then there he is, man number 37 to the far left. The district line takes it and there he is. Good blocking, that was almost a clip. No, I'm not one to call it. And there we are. He's finally brought down there by the Farm Knights. And that is going to be that is the end of the third quarter. Of the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights, a zero. London Warriors, 56. As they bring down the Farnham Knights on home. Farnham are going to scramble. And what they are wanting to do is they want to take this to at least have a positive energy. If they can get some points against these London Warriors, I am sure they can have a positive takeaway. I also had a scoring update that the London Olympians are being dominated by the Bristol Aztecs. As you know, Farnham Knights will be hosting the Bristol Aztecs here next week here at Monk Lake Farnham Rugby Stadium. So please come down here next week. We would love to see you here as they take on the Bristol Aztecs. That's going to give uh, first and 10 London Warriors. Ball's marked at the 20 yard line. Strong right for the London Warriors. Quarterback puts his man in motion and he's gonna do, do a play action fake and he keeps the ball. Number 15 quarterback sneak and he finally drags Gilly along. That's a good game. That's gonna move the change down. Let's look at that play action fake by the quarterback number 15 as he uh, keeps the ball. Look at there he is. Fakes it and great. Follows his down, down a field blocking. And before he's wrapped up there by um, Andy Giller, number 23 for the Farnham Knights. But that is going to be good enough for a first down. That's going to be first and goal, London Warriors. <laughs> Quarterback back in the shotgun. Sits in the pocket. He has all the time in the world. All the time in the world. And he keeps the ball. And he's going to run it in. And that might be good for a touchdown. He had all of the time in the world. He could have taken his time to just crawl it in. And let's look at that pass protection by the London Warriors once again. What a play. The defense of uh, secondary had the coverage. He had nowhere to throw the ball. Great defense of pass protection, and he decides to run it, and there's the hole, and he just tips toes it right on through, and that's gonna be another six points for the London Warriors as they start uh, for their extra point attempt, once again by number eight. Low snap, ball's up. And that is going to be good for number eight. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game here as the London Warriors really put down their dominance. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights at zero. London Warriors 57. We are 14.09 into the fourth game of play. We would like to hear from you. Hashtag BAFA. Let us know what's going on in your mind, and we'll continue to feed your results. Well, once again, we would like to thank Cheers Mate Production for the great camera, camera angles, ca camera views that they are bringing to us here. 
Once again, this production team comes here early in the morning, sets up the audio, the visual. They set my booth up. They set the analysts up. They set the cameramen up. Once again, we would like to thank you. Cheers, mate. You guys are lovely. Back to the field. There's the drummer boy for the Farnham Knights. High kick in the dark, dark and, and it's taken by Godfrey. Takes it at the five yard line. Godfrey's looking for some room on the right side. And that's not Godfrey, that is Cameron Wilcox, number 15. And he's finally brought down just short of the 20 yard line. Cameron's getting up a little bit slow. Yo, Cameron's up, uh, he's gonna be okay. That was a nice return there. Cameron made sure to keep uh, possession of the ball. Once again, the speed of the London Warriors uh, special teams really prevents the Farnham Knights from making a good gain on their uh, returns there. And that is, uh, yep, Cameron Cox, number 15. Uh, looks like he is gonna take a little breather. We also see Appleford coming out. That's gonna be first and 10. Farnham Knights ball is gonna be marked on the 18th on the 20 yard line. Phil Humes goes back onto the field. For more about the uh, rules and regulations here at the BAFANL, please see uh, the referee's official website, www.bafra.org. Please, you can see all your rules and regulations uh, of the game. We do play in NCAA uh, college rules. We have a screen pass to Godfrey. Godfrey looking for a little bit of room on the outside before he's finally wrapped up by number 27. Godfrey is still on his feet, pumping for more room. Godfrey looks like he might have about a good six yards. Great screen, screen pass there. That is the Callum Godfrey combination. Let's take another look at that, please. And that's Godfrey wrapped up. Callum Brown, Callum, let me just think about statistics today. No interceptions to, uh, today. Good to see, good to hear. That's gonna be second, long two, Farnham Knights. Lined up, strong right. Warriors, nickel. Play action, hands it off to Squala. Squala's got enough for a first down before he finally runs through. Bumps into his own man, number 59, doing some downfield blocking. That's gonna be good enough for a first down. The chains are gonna be running on through. Look at that hole on the left side there for Squala. Sequala holding onto the ball, great blocking. Look at DC and the gang as they go downfield working. And if it wasn't for his own player, number 59, Sequala would have had another good eight yards as he uh, bump, bumps into baby face there on that one. That is gonna be a good enough for a first down. Midfield, midfield position, and ladies and gentlemen, here come your Farnham Knights. Jameson, Godfrey, far left, number 84 for the Farnham Knights on the far right. Nice snap. Once again, oh! Terrible pass there. Terrible there on, on Callum. Uh, he had his man Godfrey wide open. Let's look at that again. Did the threads get mixed up in Callum's hands? Oh, there it was, a little bit of a rush and the threads were not lined up. So he did not have enough good uh, enough grip on the ball to be able to put the spin on it with the velocity to get it on into Godfrey's hands. That's gonna be a pass, it's incomplete. That's gonna be second down 10, Farnham. Hands it off to Sequala. Sequala's looking for the left guard. Hole is uh, broken up. That's gonna be short to no gain for the Farnham Knights. Let's see where they officially mark the ball. Uh, that hole just collapsed there on that side. Once again, that defensive line, big 72 for the London Warriors. He just stands it right on up and then fills his whole girth with the, through that hole. Nowhere to go but through him and I don't think that's happening today. Third down and long. Third and 10, Farnham Knights. We'll make that a long 10. Jameson far left. Connell, number 84, far right. Brown out the shotgun. He gets a call and it looks like he may have drawn the Warriors off. We'll get the official ruling on the field from Phil Humes over to the field.
Offside on the defense, number 54. Five yard penalty, still third down. Well, Callum Brown toss, tosses out of one of them saucy uh, snaps, draws, no nope, ball marker the other way, draws the London Warriors off uh, side. So that is going to be five yards against them uh, and helping to push the ball more into their territory. That's going to be five, uh, third and five for the Farnham Knights. Yakita mode. Uh, first time watching hashtag BAFA at Farnham Knights. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, put some points on the board, Farnham Knights. Thank you, Yakinda Mode, and we're glad that you're watching. And if you're watching, you might have seen that saucy snap. Once again, may have worked, may have worked for the Farnham Knights. They may have get a first down off of penalties. Let's get the official ruling once again by Phil Humes. Offsides on the defense, number 95. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Okay, Kenda, I've got a little bit more here from you. Thank you. Um, and a uh, fantastic streaming and production for the Cheers Mate pr production team. And <laughs> thank you for your compliments there. I appreciate it. She says that I'm sterling. Bless your heart. Loving you long time. And back to the field. Third and short for the Farnham Knights. Brown, shotgun, handed off to Sequala. Sequala's fighting for the first down. Sequala has the first down and a little bit more. That's going to be good as they move the chains down before he's brought down by 20, number 29 by the London Warriors. Let's take another look at that play. Sequala, my man, as he finds the hole to the left side, breaking through, puts the speed on, head down, pumping legs, and that's going to be a good enough to move the chains down for the Farnham Knights. They should feel pretty good about how they're moving it. The ball in the fourth quarter of play here against the London Warriors. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I, I am not ashamed to say that this London Warrior team is about the best team in England. So this is no joke team that the F Farnham Knights are hosting here here um, in Farnham, Surrey. Uh, that was a pass play there by the uh, Farnham Knights. That pass is going to be incomplete. That's going to be second and ten. Let's look at that again as he is looking for his man to the far right side. And that is going to be a little bit high. <laughs> Godfrey saying I want a flag, but that was pretty clean on that one. At second and ten, Farnham. And here come the Farnham Knights. Got Jameson and Connell. Snap, hand it off to Godfrey. Godfrey's looking for some room on the right side. Godfrey's breaking tackles and still on his feet. Scrambling, he may have enough for a forward progress for a first down. Let's get the official ruling on that one. Let's look at Stephen Godfrey. He is strong and mighty as he pumps it through. You do not um, underestimate that young man. Look at him slip through the tackles as he just keeps those legs driving forward against all of that black helmet. He still is driving forward. Forward progress is definitely going to be accepted on that one. That's going to be third and a short four for the Farnham Knights. Eight sixteen in the fourth quarter of play. Ball's handed off again to Godfrey. Godfrey for some looking for some room on the left side. He's finally wrapped up. That'll be a short gain. Fourth down situation there. Godfrey once again. He's looking for the left side off the tackle. He spins it into the guard. Puts his head down. That'll be a short gain. Of a couple of yards, fourth down situation. Looks like the Knights are going to go for it. Callum sees P too tall. Too tall gives him the play, and he goes back to the huddle. Let's see what the Knights are going to do on this one. I like this Knights team. No matter what the adversary, they still play with heart and good intentions. Fourth down. And it's to Sequala. Sequala's going off the far left tackle. Sequala's still pumping in. Looks like Sequala may have enough for the first down. They're going to blow the whistle. Let's see where they mark for the forward progress. <laughs> and it looks like they may not have it. That is going to be London Warriors ball. First and 10, London Warriors. They will be taking possession of the ball on their own 38 yard line. Let's take another look at that. Sequala sees the downfield block, and he's going to say, okay, let's just jump in through here. 
tries to break through some tackles and once again relies on his strength but there's a little bit too many warriors there against Sakwala for him to push on through for the first down that is going to turn the ball back over to the London Warriors once again number 15 is on the hand for the one Warriors taking the ball out the shotgun he's got number big 33 back there as his eye back he does not a lateral toss to 33 and here is the big man looking for the left side and he's breaking tackles that's going to be enough for a first down what a hole on the left side by the London Warriors let's take another look at how he was able to make that first down play. And there is the snap, there's that lateral toss, and look at the speed. And once that guy gets the speed turning on, there is something on his uniform. They just can't hold on to it. That's gonna be first and 10. That ball is gonna be marked about at the 42 yard line. London Warriors, number 15, back out the shotgun position. 33 in the eye back. Pat, pat, play action fake. He goes down the field. He's looking for number 11 all the way. It's almost, inter ouch. It's almost intercepted. Pass was intended for 11. We got a flag in the play. That looks like it's going to be pass interference against number 35. That's Mr. Kidd. Oh, uh, let's take another look at that play just to verify what happened down there. What a pass by number 15. That young man has an arm. And, and ladies and gentlemen, you heard me say ouch. I'm in uh, the studio production booth, and sometimes my enthusiasm makes me leave uh, my feet off the floor, and I hit a bar. Not good. <laughs> Phil Humes will give us the official ruling on the field. Over to Phil. Defense pass interference. Defense number 35. 15-yard penalty. First down. Well, that is going to be against number 35. That's Mr. Kidd. That is going to be an automatic first down for the London Warriors. They are going to move the passes down. And there he is all over the intended receiver. Um, I may have falsely accused, oh, that was Gully, uh, no, 38, Tom Tame all over the intended receiver. Pass almost intercepted by Mr. Kidd. My apologies, Mr. Kidd. You, uh, you've been clear to that one. Pay action, fake to big man, number 33, and look at him run like Frank O. Harris. He is still on his feet, the big man, 33. Oh, he is running like a steel machine. They just can't stop him. Let's look at that high-stepping athlete once again. They hand it to him, and the big man just tucks it right on through, holds his, his defensive blocker, and just piles through, and look at him break the tackles. There gotta be something on his uniform. <laughs> they just can't hold on to that young man. That's gonna be second and a long five for the London Warriors as they move the chains down. Reach in for Farnham Red Zone. There's a lateral toss to the big 33. He's looking through the tackle hole and he finds it and he's looking for more before he's finally brought down. Does a hurdle over the Farnham Knight player and he's finally brought down. Let's take it that play again. Nice little lateral there. Smooth action by the London Warriors backfield. And there's that hole. The downstream, blo the downfield blocking is excellent. And he's hungry for the end zone before he's finally brought down. Chips over the Farnham player. That's going to be first and 10. London Warriors. London Warriors uh, line it up. Strong right. Number 11, number 84. Out the shotgun. Once again, back to the tailback. There he is, number 33. He's got a hole. He's looking downfield once again before his body brought down. He's trying to make that first down once again for the London Warriors. Let's look at that again. The big guy can run the ball. They switch that lateral pass over to the side, to the right side this time. And Suchi finally wraps his hands up on him. My time, that is the two minute warning. Two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the two-minute warning here at Monk Lane Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Your scoring update, Farnham Knights, a zero. London Warriors, a 63. Today's game is brought to you by DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects Recruitment, LT Sports, and True Glaze Windows and, and Conservatories, and of course, our friends here at Cheers Made Production. Back to the field, second and five, London Warriors. Pass protections all there, there. And it looks like number 15 got the pressure put on him. He's got to run. He runs away from Michael Peacock, number 92, before he tries to get into the end zone. Is that going to be a touchdown? The London Warriors, number 15, the quarterback, he scrambles in for a touchdown after breaking tackles to the Fordham Knights. Let's look at that again. The plague is broken up, and then he relies on his speed. Foot race against Michael Peacock. 
Now it's a foot race against Stevie before he's finally pushed by, by Mike, Mr. Powers, and that is going to be enough for a touchdown, ladies and gentlemen, as the London Warriors put six more six more points up on the board. Here comes number eight. I wish I had his name also. We can give him his props for that fine athlete here to make the extra point for the London Warriors. Stevie comes out of play for the special teams for the Knights. Warriors lined up for the extra point attempt. Nice snap, balls up, and that is good. Ladies and gentlemen, your scoring update here in Farnham, Surrey. Farnham Knights, zero, London Warriors, seven, as we come to the final minutes of gameplay here at Monk Lake Stadium in Farnham, Surrey. Once again, we'd like to thank you ever so much for watching the live stream. Please stay, keep sending us your comments and your compliments. We love to hear from you. Hashtag BAFA, that is hashtag BAFA. I've been your commentator, Maz Hilborn. We would like to thank our studio productions, Mr. Joe and Mr. Richard, and we'd like to always thank our cameramen, um, up on top. Thank you guys for once again for being here um, for your assistance. Great work. That is the end of the game. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of the game here in Farnham, Surrey. Another dominance by the London Warriors as they take that dominance here to Farnham, Surrey. The Farnham Knights will be facing next week against the Bristol Aztecs. We would like to thank you for watching the show once again. We would like to thank our sponsors, DNA Brickwork, Tango Securities, Premier Prospects, LT Sports, True Glaze, Windows and Conservatories, and Cheers Mate Production. We'd like to also thank you. We'll be here next week. I've been Maz. My name is Maz Hilburn. I've been your commentator. Until next week. Peace, love, and American football!